It's a beehive of activity at the Dada refugee camps in northeastern Kenya as the newly arrived register for refugee IDs. Since late last year, the camps have seen more refugees from the neighboring Somalia who are escaping drought and hunger. The numbers currently are 135,000 profiled and uh, undergoing uh, registration in DADAP with an influx of about 2,000 per day. 2,000 per day and uh, it's high. That's a, a high number. Early this year, the U.S. government launched the Welcome Call, a private sponsorship program that allows Americans to assist refugees arriving through the U.S. Refugee Admissions Program and support their resettlement and integration in the United States. At one of the temporary resettlements for newly arrived and registered refugees, Nurtu Hussein is pondering her next move. Having fled food insecurity in Somalia, the mother of seven says she hopes to resettle in the U.S. I want to go to America so I can find work and provide for my children. My children are malnourished and suffering. Look at this, even this other one. If we go to the U.S., they will get medical support and other important services they need. I cannot continue keeping them here in these conditions because they may not survive. A few meters away is Abdi Osman's homestead. He says life in Somalia became unbearable after he lost all his livestock to drought. He, his wife and nine children moved to the camp to seek help. America is a land of opportunity. I have seen refugees who have been given the opportunity to resettle in the U.S., improve their lives after they get there. The Kenyan government says it is working on a plan to integrate refugees and it welcomes help from its partners to support the refugee population. American cops are very much welcome in supporting programs, in supporting the relocation, in supporting the refugees. Uh, we are creating hope away from home. There are nearly 700,000 refugees in Kenya, according to the country's Department of Refugee Affairs. Since 2015, only 59,000 have been resettled to third countries. Unregistered refugees like Hussein and Osman and their families will have to wait for full registration before they can get consideration for resettlement. Juma Majanga for VA News, Dadaab Refugee Camps, Kenya.